Wynne Caput and Lawrence M. Elson. The Anatomy Coloring Book. I'm going to flip over to this page and try to be as careful as I can because I'm always ripping these pages. So um, let me just bend it a little bit and get this out of here. Come on. Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? Um, okay, well, I'm gonna go ahead and rip this out, I guess. <sighs> and uh, you know what? Thank God for tape. Handy dandy tape. I'm gonna go ahead and tape this page together. <sighs> Thanks, tape. Gosh. There we go. No big deal, I guess. <laughs> so we are currently on plate six, organization of the body, tissues, connective tissues, part two. And I'm going to go ahead and color this in. Organization of the body. Tissues, connective tissue. Part two. This category includes the connective tissue proper. I'm coloring in that in like this teal blue color. And under that is the elastic, which consists of elastic fibers along with fibroblasts. Elastic fibers, I'll color in a sea green color. And the fibroblasts, I will color in orange. Elastic and reticular tissues like adipose and others not shown, pigment, embryonic, are specializations of more common proper connective tissues. Elastic tissues consists of waves of elastic fibers oriented in parallel with a few fibroblasts here and there. This tissue is found in the walls of most arteries, some veins, erectile tissues, and air cells of the lungs, in certain ligaments, and as isolated fibers in the loose connective tissues. So I'll go ahead and color these fibroblasts, excuse me, these elastic fibers in. The fibroblasts were colored in in orange previously. And now we are on the reticular. And that consists of reticular fibers along with cells of the organ. Cells of the organ is M, while reticular fibers are L and the reticular fibers I'm coloring in blue and the cells of the organ I'm coloring in green. Reticular fibers are actually very small collagenous fibers in loose, irregular array, 
supporting such delicate tissues as liver cells, cells of the lymphatic tissues, and the bone marrow. Now we are on supporting tissue. And supporting tissue consists of cartilage. And cartilage consists of hyaline, which consists of lacuna, chondrocyte, and matrix. And I'll color the chondrocyte in this pretty pink color, and it's O. And the matrix I'll color in a sea moss green color, and that is P. And here I'm coloring it in, which is pretty much this whole empty square. Well, not the empty square, the empty area of the square. But cartilage consists of a gelatinous organic matrix in which stiffening collagenous fibers and the matrix secreting cells, chondrocytes, are embedded. This resultant mix forms a solid tissue which is weight-bearing and yet quite flexible. The cells often in pairs reside within spaces of less dense matrix lacunae though which they receive their nutrition by diffusion. Unlike other connective tissues, cartilage is without blood vessels, avascular, except within the fibrous sheath surrounding it. Hyaline cartilage caps the ends of bones, forms part of the framework of the nose, as well as part of the rib cage, and is the principal support for the larynx. The internal framework of the early fetus is largely hyaline cartilage and is later replaced by a bony skeleton. So now we are on elastic and elastic consists of lacuna, chondrocyte, elastic fibers, and matrix. Again, the chondrocyte is O, and that's being colored in pink. The elastic fibers, F, that's colored in a, I guess we're gonna call it sea green, is that what we've been calling it? Sea green, I like this color. And the matrix P is a sea moss green. We're just coming up with color names, but it's another shade of green. How about that? <laughs> but elastic cartilage is simply hyaline cartilage with elastic fibers and is found in the epiglottis and the external ear. So I will go ahead and color all of that in. And we'll start with the matrix.
and now I'm coloring in the elastic fibers. And now the chondrocyte. Which is that pink color. And then we're going to go ahead and color in the lacuna, which is a red color. And the next and last category is fibrocartilage. I'll color that in in purple. And also we have some chondrocyte down here. O, and that too will be pink. Along with the collagen fibers, E, and that will be another shade of pink, like a petal pink. So fibrocartilage is surrounded by matrix and embedded in dense collagenous tissue, is found between the vertebral bodies, discs, the interpubic joint, and in areas of joint capsules and related ligaments. And we're going to go ahead and color those collagen fibers and the chondrocyte in which makes up the fibrocartilage and we are done oh my gosh organization of the body tissues connective tissue part two dun dun dun